Coach, uh, what can you say about Enrique? That's that's a heck of a night. I know it's fun to kind of watch him grow up before your eyes. Yeah, I mean, it's very impressive. A lot of different ways. Great at bats, just getting on base, um, two strike swing, hitting the ball in, into right field, into the seats, which was probably the biggest hit of the night, but just jump started us every time he, he got to the plate. Um, you know, the base hit with two outs, two strikes. I mean, it's very, very impressive, very aggressive, very attacking. Robbie. Yeah, Tim, I mean, you've been around the block for sure. Like, what can you put into perspective what, you know, Enrique is doing this season overall as, you know, as a freshman, uh, just, you know, his overall game? He's just play. He's attacking the game. I, I think that, you know, there's reminiscent of a guy like Tony Kemp, his freshman year, um, a young guy who went out and just, uh, you know, uh, took, just played as it was no thinking, you know, you, you, you know, I've seen that certain points in time where there's so much innocence in the, the kid and his game that he just plays with a lot of freedom. Um, and he's just playing to, to beat you. Austin Martin played that way. Tony Kemp played that way. Uh, there's certain guys who have that way about them where the only thing they're looking to do is, is just beat the opponent and, and, and they don't, they keep it pretty simple, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, he's fun to watch for sure. He's still got a lot of growing to do. So we want to keep things in perspective, but he's playing aggressively. Chris Lee. Tim, how do you explain the odd nature of Kumar's outing tonight that, the, the strikeouts, but then the spells where he's getting hit and the wild pitches after he comes out throwing 16 straight strikes. It just was a, an unusual outing. Uh, yeah, he's probably trying to do too much, Chris. Try, probably trying to be a little bit too perfect. And, and when that happens, you start missing a little bit and then you try to refine real quick and you, you lose, lose a command. I mean, that's, that's not the first time I've seen something like that before. I mean, it does. It looks like he's rolling along, but I'm always a little bit cautious when I see something like that too soon, too quick, because uh, you know the game's not going to just move in that direction. It's just that's that's too difficult. But you know what? He 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 gave us a good effort. He it wasn't easy. Um, it's probably in some ways, it looked you know similar to last weekend. You know, in that fifth inning, he just he had to really battle to get out of that fifth inning. But he, you know, he got out of it and he got out of it with the bases loaded and. You know, we, we pitched out a lot of jams tonight. That that game could have flipped real quick. Um, you know, I, I think, I don't know if our kids realize it, but it, it could have. Uh, we made some nice plays, too, with guys in scoring position. But, yeah, Kumar's situation, he, he battled. Uh, I just thought he was trying to be too perfect. Tim, when it when it flips like that that quickly, is pitch tipping ever a, a conversation in the dugout, or is that something that you can figure out on the fly? Well, I don't know if you can figure it out on the fly, but it always goes through your mind. You know, when you see good swings on good pitches or you see like breaking pitches and cross counts and the, the, there's barrels, I mean, it, it goes through your mind. But at the same time, that's a good hitting team. That's, that's a team that has done that to some very good pitchers. And I mean, you know, top of the line up there, that's a very impressive group. Wilson is, geez, I, I thought we got rid of the Wilsons when Ross left, but they left his little brother around and he's a, he's a heck of a player. Uh, Denton is a heck of a hitter. So I, I, I just, you got to credit the hitters. Yeah. Uh, is there something in specific that you said to Kumar in between the third and fourth inning or the fourth and fifth, you know, kind of have him galvanize and, you know, change his perspective. There's nothing. I, I don't talk to Kumar. I mean, Brownie does. I, I don't talk really to anyone. Um, but no, I, I think, no, I, I think, you know, after those two innings that he had, I, I think he just tried to write himself a little bit, but, uh, if, if Brownie said something to him, I'll find out about it here a little bit when I take a shower. Robbie, over to you. Uh, Tim, um, is Isaiah Thomas hurt? And, uh, what do you think of Troy Laniv? Troy was very responsive. Uh, Troy's been a very patient young man. Uh, he hasn't always been on the 30-man roster. He hasn't always traveled with us. But the thing that Troy's done is he's just stayed quiet and very consistent in his work habits, does the same thing every single day. 
very happy for him. You know, he started two innings tonight with hits and, um, you know, it was a, a good 2-0 swing that he put into the gap and then uh, just to get on base uh, later and on a breaking ball that he shoveled over the second baseman's head. So, yeah, I'm happy for, for Troy. Got an opportunity because, um, yeah, IT's out. Chris Lee? Is, uh, is, is Jack Bolger, is he all right, or is that just, uh, you know, he was something and give him a break? Yeah, Bolger's fine. Yeah, we just, we wanted the matchup more than anything. We just thought this was the right timing for a guy like Troy. But Jack's fine. Yep. Uh, Tim, CJ took a beating behind the plate at, at points tonight. He, he's played a lot. Is he, is a day off for him maybe a conversation, or is he just, you just keep on throwing him out there and seeing what you can get? Well, you know what you're going to get, um, it, it, but yeah, he's, you know, he, yeah, he's having to block some very difficult pitches. I mean, he blocked five, five balls tonight with a runner on third base and kept the ball in front of him. Uh, there's not a lot of catchers that can do what he does, um, but I'd like to give him some time off, but Max is a little bit dinged up. And so, you know, we're, we're kind of uh, doing what we have to do, but I, kind of goes with the territory a little bit. He's, uh, he's doing a great job of, of catching the ball, keeping the ball in front of him, and, um, you know, throwing out runs when he had to. He, he couldn't, couldn't do that tonight, but um, we're just going to have to ride him out. I can't remember a team that's been this banged up uh, between the guys that have missed games and, and the arms that, that are out. Have you ever had one that at this point in the season was this dinged? Not sure. Um, I mean, yeah, from from pitching standpoint, you know, we're, we're a little bit dinged up, and you know, positionally a little bit too. But it's it's just, um, I guess, just part of it. So we're, we're there. That's why you got guys like Troy Lenny, guys who can get in there and play, and that that's what we do. It's next man up. Max Hurst. Uh, what is Thomas's injury, and is Smith on the thirty man this weekend? No, Smith is not on the 30 man, and uh, Tom's got a hand injury. Chris Keenhold. Coach, I know using uh, Luke and Nick both tonight is probably not optimal. Uh, how does that shape up for the bullpen going forward for the weekend? Well, you do what you do have to do, Chris, to win games. So it, it's optimal from a standpoint of the result. That's all that matters. Um, and now the, the next thing is just getting back here tomorrow and, uh, and and putting a good start together. And then after that, we'll, we'll kind of piece it together. We've got enough kids, uh, but someone that hasn't maybe gotten the ball in the past is going to get the ball at some point in time. And um, that's why, that's why they're here. Thanks for your time tonight, coach. Okay. Thanks gang. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Have a good night.